Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog! How the fuck are we doing today, guys? Today is the day after Halloween, November 1st, Friday of awesome titties! Today begins a glorious weekend. Why is it a glorious weekend? Because every weekend is a glorious weekend in the land of Nightmare RH, and it should be in the land of you guys as well. Even though you motherfuckers might be working, might have schoolwork, might be playing for balls, might be, well, playing with something else, still though, you should always try to enjoy the weekend and our fucking goddamn fucking glitch on RuneScape. Goddamn motherfuckers are PMing me. <laughs> it appears that whenever you enter your citadel, your little clan citadel, it kind of fucking turns your private from off to online. It's, it's really annoying. Anyways, yesterday I uploaded two uh, PKing videos. Uh, rather, yeah, yeah, two, two PKing videos just about. Uh, today, uploading another um, fucking shit up video. Basically, I found some old clips. And, uh, well, I put them together in a video and I added some fucking shit up to it. And, well, I'm putting it on YouTube. <laughs> yes! Uh, and, of course, tonight I'm also going to be uploading a video as well. Um, alright, so, basically today, um, we're going to straight off, uh, by talk- Well, first of all, we got to talk about the bung board. Always got to talk about my bunghole. Um, we did not get 97 last night because we are getting 97 right now! As you basically see, we are about 11,000 EXP from 97 and about 9,200 EXP until, uh, 85, uh, Hunter. Uh, going to be getting 85 Hunter probably after a motherfucking text messages of, uh, uh, thingies. Probably going to get 95 Hunter after I do a, um, divination box trap. Uh, not to mention I got 90, uh, 86 magic last night, which was, uh, pretty sexy. It's always, always good to get magic level and shit, uh, just, you know, out of fucking complete randomness and shit like that. Um... Otherwise, yeah, that's uh, basically pretty much about it. Not really too much uh, happening and shit. Uh, otherwise, my balls are very, very sexy, sexy, sexy indeed. Alrighty then, by the grace of my balls, we have just gained a hunter level. Woo! I actually just did a box trap on RuneScape. So as you basically see, we are now just about 300 and roughly 35,000 EXP until the next level. That probably will not happen anytime soon. <laughs> um, I do believe I will get 86 um, before I get 99 uh, Divination, possibly maybe halfway to 87. That would actually kind of really be nice. Um, anyways, alright. Firstly, I've actually gotten um, quite a few messages uh, from a few of you guys ever since RuneScape 3 has really came out. I'm not really sure if uh, Jagex has always done this or not, but it's something to really be answered upon. Um, some of you guys wrote to me saying, Nightmare, uh, I log on to RuneScape, I basically enter my bank pin, and it says your, um, your request to cancel uh, your bank pin has been canceled. So basically, this individual logs on to RuneScape, and he saw that his bank pin, there was a request to remove his bank pin. Does that mean that somebody uh, hijacked your account and logged into it, etc., etc.? And then this person, of course, went on saying that he has uh, a JAD enable, a JAG enable, JAG account guardian. He has uh, security questions, his email registered. There's no other way someone could log on to his username and try to delete his PIN. One of the fucking things that if you do is if you go to your bank PIN, and you click I don't know because you accidentally entered your bank pin wrong, it automatically puts in a request to fucking delete your bank pin. I've done this before in the past and I actually got freaked out the very first time I've done it because I've gone to my bank and fucking I clicked I don't know, then I had to log out like really quickly to go like AFK or go to the bathroom and shit, come back and saw that there was a request to remove my bank pin. Um, now, I could just be a dumbass and didn't see the message, however, other people have the same issues. However, if you're not 100% positive that your account is safe, well then, you might want to rethink about changing your password and doing some other shit to make your account safe. Anyways, I spun some interesting crap on the Squeal of Fortune the past couple days. I spun the, uh, Diviner's Handwear and the Diviner's Footwear. It basically gives 1% extra EXP and Divination. I'm um, not really sure how long 
they give EXP till if there's a certain date, but I'm getting like an extra one EXP. Every EXP matters to 99. Just thought I'd like to share that to some of you motherfuckers. Um, if you use an avatar, you can actually get bonus EXP as well. Of course, my, uh, my little clan, uh, we have some issues with, uh, capping and shit, so, uh, we don't have a, we don't have a Wilson. Our Wilson died. <laughs> uh, but we will be getting our Wilson back very soon. Um, anyways, alright, so today we're going to be talking about the, uh, RuneScape checklist. And, um, basically pretty much Monmark made a new, uh, Runes, Runes, uh, RuneScape little vlog, whatever you want to fucking call it. Basically saying that they're going to be adding some new shit to the game. One of the things they will add is that you can leave little messages for your friends. Um, kind of like a fucking Skype message if you really think about it. There's a lot of fucking friends that I have on Skype that I can't always... Me like, the thing about Skype is it's kind of like an email. Same thing like any other type of messenger out there. If you type a message to someone, you can go AFK and they will, they will get the message once they get on. RuneScape, you can only send a message to someone if they're actually on the game. The way Modmark really was explaining it is that it kind of works kind of like an email slash Skyping system. So basically you can send messages to players kind of like they can see your messages to them, etc, etc. I think that's pretty awesome. However, the one thing that I warn you guys is don't leave personal info as a message to your friends. Now, I can say the same thing about a Skype message. Don't give personal info. Like, don't give your fucking password out. Don't, you know, give any... In case your account gets fucking hijacked and shit. Um, that's the only downside there. The other good shit that basically is coming out is level 90 melee armor. Which means Torva is going to once crash again. Ha! 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 All the motherfuckers that bought Torva... God, I feel bad for you. I actually considered buying Torva boots and gloves, and then I said to myself, nah, I'm just going to wait a little longer. I might actually buy steadfast boots. However, level 90 armor is coming out. Might as well fucking wait a little bit. Um, anyway, so that's coming out when the new Barros Brothers comes out, um, or Barros Boss and shit. The, the one thing I really want to talk about today is the... Um, Monmark basically said they're going to be releasing a D&D uh, little checklist um, of all the interesting shit you can do on RuneScape for bonus EXP. Now, I'm not really sure if this checklist is going to have every single thing you can do. I, myself, there are plenty of ways to get bonus EXP on this game. Whether it's by daily, whether it's by weekly, whether it's by monthly, etc, etc. However... I always fucking forget about bonus EXP. I always forget about fucking penguins. Um, today I'm actually going to probably most likely do the little troll, little stronghold to get bonus slayer EXP. However, I may fucking forget about that. Um, I always forget about jack of trades and what time I really have to do it. I've never done sinkholes. I don't do fucking retarded war bands. So, to have a checklist will actually help out a lot of players. Because then you can actually check off that, wait a second, I did the little troll, little stronghold fucking bonus EXP. I did Jack of Trades. I did my penguin points, etc., etc. Now, I don't think fucking penguin points and uh, the troll, little stronghold and uh, Jack of Trades fall under D&D. &D. However, it would be cool if they incorporated that into it. Kind of like a little checklist. That's actually something pretty helpful. That's actually something pretty fucking useful that I can actually see using the game. I myself will actually fucking use that checklist. Um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you motherfuckers as well is, are going to use that check, checklist too. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's... The month of November is probably going to be very interesting for RuneScape. I, I am actually very excited for the new Barros Brothers to come out. I'm excited for the new armor to come out as well. Even though the, the level 90 armor is going to be so fucking overpriced, um, the only way to really get it is to really kill Barros himself. And, uh, well, I may fucking really consider no life in Barros to really get... Because I actually really do want some better armor on the game rather than just fucking Varrock and shit. And I was considering about buying Torva for the longest time. However, Torva... 
it gives the same life points. And that's what you really need, is fucking life points. The level 90 armor is probably going to give the same amount of life points as maybe the, the Tetsu armor and shit like that. Which, my fucking armor, my life points are going to jump from literally like 70, 820 to probably most likely maybe 85. Now, of course, you, you can tell me to get 99 hit points, but I'd rather suck my own wiener. <laughs> it's very true, I do not plan on getting 99 fucking uh, hit points anytime in the future. So, yeah. Alright guys, but otherwise, basically, like I said, look out for new RuneScape videos and video on, uh, fucking, uh, my main cha- uh, my, my, uh, IRL channel as well. Um, otherwise, hope you guys are gonna have the start of a good weekend tonight and shit, uh, and that's basically pretty much about it. Otherwise, right now, I'll go to my email address and grab some happy hooba hooba questions from you motherfuckers. Ah, so much at yahoo.com after me, who's because if you do well, then you'll be fucked in your uh, bum bum. <laughs> and it will suck major titties. First, who who a question? From Dino900. Uh, hey, Nightmare RH, just was wondering if you don't get any any hooba hooba questions from us motherfuckers, no video, or just cut, off, cut out the question segment? Question mark. Alright. What if I don't get any questions from you guys? I have over 30,000 emails in my inbox. I have about 10,000 emails in my spam box. I have emails going back from when I made this channel back in 2010. So, no. The answer is I will have plenty of fucking questions. Not to mention, I always read a lot of questions from the top down, from the most recent. I, I don't, I, I should really go back and read questions from years ago, but I, I kind of just really haven't had the time to organize some shit and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's pr pretty, pretty much about it. Next, Hooba Hooba question. Hey, Never, how are you doing today? Always asking. Yes, I'm doing sexy and awesome. If you could introduce something new into RS, what would it be? Question mark. RS username. Uh, G, G, uh, fucking, uh, G, J, H, uh, for, uh, ever, I think that's, uh, it's pronounced G, J, H, uh, for, forever, okay, that's, that's a little creative name and stuff like that, alright, if I could introduce something new into RuneScape, what would it really be? You know, that's really a tough question because I do have a lot of good suggestions for this game, a lot of good suggestions for this game would be removing some stuff, but still, that's not going to happen, so. <laughs> Alright, if I could introduce something new to the game, I really want to introduce a zombie-type aspect. I love fucking zombies, I love zombie survival, I love zombie horror. Um, I would introduce a new quest that you would basically, that would... You, you know there's a, dwar a dwarf quest, there's elves quest, a little genome quest. There needs to be a fucking zombie quest where the town of RuneScape basically becomes fucking infested with goddamn zombies and shit. That's basically what really has to fucking happen. <laughs> yeah, that's um, basically pretty much about it. Um, overall, yeah, that's basically what I would uh, introduce into RuneScape is kind of a new zombie type quest. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, as always, thumbs up my happy ball sack. And um, let me know in some nasty, dirty little comments. What would be something you would... Uh, implement into a uh, runescape of lovely jaggics and shit like that. Otherwise, I'll see you motherfuckers in a few. Bye!